This training film is brought to you by the makers of Battery Chem. Today we're going to show you how to recondition a very old forklift battery. First we have to do some tests with our voltmeter. Here we are helping our technician to set up to check the overall voltage of the battery. This is very important. This is a 36 volt battery so it should read at least 36 volts. As you can see this battery has just come off the battery charger and it's actually reading 38 volts. The extra 2 volts is a surface charge and it'll bleed off very quickly. Now that we've checked the overall voltage in the battery, we can check the condition of each cell. This is very simple to do, but it takes a little more time. But first we have to remove all of the battery caps. This is a very powerful 36 volt forklift battery. So 36 volts at 2 volts per cell means that there are 18 caps to be removed. There are also hoses on here because this particular forklift is equipped with a self-watering system. Notice that when we removed the battery filler caps, we did not have to detach the watering hoses. We were very fortunate with this battery because it saved us a great deal of labor. That can vary from battery to battery. Once we remove all the filler caps, we'll be able to check the condition of each cell individually. Cell testing is done by using a DC voltmeter and a pair of metal probes. Cell testing is the most important part of this process. Once you have removed all of the caps, you can then start to test the cells. We are also going to use a hydrometer and check the specific gravity of the cells. Here is a close-up of a technician reading a cell using a voltmeter and two metal probes. As you can see, he inserts the metal probes from one open cell to the next open cell. Notice the voltage on the meter. It is above 2 volts. The meter should read 2 volts to 2.5 volts or the cell is weak. You must check all 18 cells in this manner and make sure that each cell reads more than 2 volts. Here is an overview of the cell checking process. Notice how the technician goes from cell to cell. When he finishes this row, he will then move down to the next row. Now he is moving down to the next row. He will again check from cell to cell, always keeping the probes in the proper polarity. Let's watch him finish so we'll know for sure how to do this process. This is very important. Every single cell must be tested. Ideally, each cell should read 2 volts to 2.5 volts. That would be perfect by the book. Anything else is a gamble. You might add your chemicals, but not get a good result. That's why 2 volts or more is preferable in each cell. There is no guarantee that a cell will come back if it doesn't read at least 2 volts when you start the project. He is now reading the last two cells in the second row. There is one more row to go because there are three rows, six cells each in a 36 volt battery. Make sure that both probes are dipped right down thoroughly into the electrolyte, being very careful not to damage the battery plates. Always make sure while the caps are off that you check the water level in the battery. Always use distilled water in the battery. Be careful not to overfill the battery and make sure you leave enough room to add your chemicals. You only need about a quarter of an inch of water over the top of the battery plates. Do not overfill the battery.
We are now finished checking the cells and they are all over 2 volts. That means that this battery is a very good candidate for reconditioning. Here is a view of the meter and the probes. Next we're going to check a few cells with the hydrometer. And as you can see, the float is going to be in the red, which means that these cells are really in weak condition. This battery is not holding a charge. The owner of this battery reported to us this morning that this battery only ran 30 minutes before it went flat dead. So this is your answer right here. The hydrometer is in the red. It should be up in the middle of the green. After we recondition the battery, we will retest it with the voltmeter and the hydrometer. Notice this is in very poor condition. We are now going to add one third of a cup of battery chem to each cell. Then we will put the battery back on the charger and begin the reconditioning process. This should take 24 hours. This is how we fill each cell. If you are not familiar with the proper use of the hydrometer, please refer to our earlier training videos on how to recondition automotive batteries. It is the same procedure. You will also learn on that video how to use a load tester. You can also review another lesson on how to test each cell in the battery. In the meantime, John, our technician, is adding one-third of a cup of battery chem to each cell in the battery. Once the chemicals are added and the battery caps and hoses are replaced, the process of reconditioning the battery is completed, except that it must be placed on the battery charger overnight. These batteries are very expensive to replace. If you are interested in earning from $500 to $5,000 a week, please contact me, Walt Barrett, and I'll show you how to get started in this profitable business. There are thousands of electric forklifts in this country. If you are willing to spend the time, advertise, get the customers, and do the work, you can make incredible money in this business. All you have to do is work at it. Battery Chem is our exclusive product. No one else has it. If you become one of our battery chem dealers, you will not have any competition in your area because no one else has battery chem. You will be an exclusive dealer. Now that's how you make money. We have successfully used battery chem for the past 25 years. We have now gone worldwide with the process and dealerships are available in any country in the world. Just contact us at the email address and phone numbers on the TV screen.
My name is Walt Barrett, and I'm ready to get you started in your very own business today. That's Battery Chem. That's a great business. Once the caps are replaced, that's the end of the process. It took us approximately 15 minutes. That's the battery chem process. Contact us today so you can get started in this profitable business. Thank you very much.